Hello guys, welcome to Investing Chase. Uh, this is a new channel and the purpose of this channel is to share my experience and research from the internet related to new tech, investing, stocks and so on. So just uh, before I start, just as a st standard disclaimer, this channel is for entertainment purpose only. Any information, content and data shared on this channel is for information purpose only. Investing in stocks, trading, new tech companies is a risky and you should do your own research before making any final decisions. Okay guys, uh, let's jump on to today's topic. So today's topic is uh, fuel cells, hydrogen as a fuel for future. So you can see and you must have heard that uh, there are a number of companies coming up and, and investing in hydrogen or already invested in hydrogen as a fuel for future. So on your screen, you have some big names. Nikola is a recent, very recent name that is very hot in market, whose business model is totally based on hydrogen as a fuel for future. So today, in today's topic, I'm going to walk you through um, what are fuel cells, how do they look like, their use cases, their uh, advantages and disadvantages, and the research and developments, and so on. Okay, let's uh, elaborate on what are fuel cells. Fuel cells is a device, is a physical device that uses a source of fuel such as hydrogen and an oxidant to create electricity from an electrochemical process. A fuel cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Uh, now you will ask, what is, fuel, what is fuel cell made up of? So fuel cells are made up of an electrolyte and electrodes, right? And uh, the products of the reaction in, in, the, in the cell are water, electricity, and heat. Why fuel cells? And, and that is because it's environmental friendly, is availability uh, is, is uh, plentiful, uh, and the hydrogen, hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element in the, in the universe. Right. And it's a clean and reliable source of energy, uh, offers a lot of benefits over existing fuel sources, and uh, it produces no CO2 when combusted. Only water and heat is the output, and that is why you know uh, big companies and giants are running after this new uh, technology you know, to, to use hydrogen as a, as a fuel for future. And this hydrogen can be used to power your cars, your 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 vehicles, or transportation system, and so on. So basically, you know, you could replace the existing uh, gasoline uh, with the uh, hydrogen uh, as a fuel for future. So how fuel cells look like? So on your screen, on a, on left hand side, the the blue device is a, is is one of the type of fuel fuel cell, and on your right hand side you can see the uh, how what, what what sort of chemical reaction uh, takes place inside this fuel cell so you can see uh, as a source we are passing hydrogen and then there's a electrochemical process and then the the hydrogen is converted into um, electrons the basically the output is electron and and the water and the heat so that's a uh, uh, basically how fuel cells generate electricity from hydrogen. Use cases. So there are so many use cases of hydrogen as a fuel or as a source of energy. And I have put down some of the most uh, you know, key use cases here. So automobile, automobile sector is, is one of the key use cases of hydrogen as a fuel. Uh, so it's, it's, it's used, uh, it, it can be used as a, as a fuel. Uh, for your cars and, and, and trucks and uh, I guess that's why Nikola and Hi Hyundai and, and few other big giants are, are running after this new tech so that they can replace the existing gasoline uh, you know uh, fuel with this hydrogen uh, so it's it's a uh, it's a green it's a zero emissions and so on so hydrogen uh, can be uh, is, is can and is used as a source of power uh, it can it can lit uh, up your house and corporate is a reliable source of power supply. It can be used to, uh, you know, uh, to provide a power supply to uh, public places such as hospitals, schools, and homes. And it's also used as a fuels in in rockets. At the same time, we do have, uh, you know, some disadvantages as well. And the main disadvantage is, uh, or I would say, uh, the you know, the the main disadvantage is the cost. 
and uh, and, and that is because it's it's uh, it's very expensive you know uh, it's currently kind of uh, it used to take uh, used to cost like uh, 16 dollars per kilogram and is now down to somewhere like four dollars per kilogram and uh, it's still expensive if you compare that to the you know today's uh, gasoline uh, petrol or diesel you know uh, price so it's still expensive and the second one is a, is a storage so it's not easy to store uh, hydrogen right uh, because uh, and, and especially and because of the fact fact that hydrogen is is very hard to move around uh, in compared to oil or, or gasoline you know um, that that can be uh, sent through pipelines and so on so you need to have uh, uh, infrastructure which is the third third point infrastructure uh, a large scale infrastructure to store the hydrogen and to uh, to supply right to and, and for, uh, such as like uh, to build a, a hydrogen uh, station you will need to invest millions and billions right uh, you know in compared to any gas station uh, for a petrol or diesel and the, the last one is is, uh, is a highly flammable right this hydrogen is highly flammable so um, since it's uh, it's a very powerful source of source of energy hydrogen uh, is, is can be very flammable so there's a there's a need and there's a requirement to have a high level of safety you know when it comes to hydrogen as a, as a fuel for future so these are some uh, some of the disadvantages i would say you know uh, but uh, you know uh, with the given uh, research and development ongoing so uh, you know uh, the infrastructure is improving the storage facilities are improving and and the technology is improving research and development of hydrogen as a as a fuel for future so guys a lot going on in this space we have big giants big companies who are invested in hydrogen or doing uh, active research in this space so we have recently heard a new car manufacturer in this space which is nicola who is bringing uh, uh, hydrogen uh, fuel cells to generate the electricity flow from hydrogen um, you know to to run their trucks and the badger so their whole business model is based on hydrogen as a fuel for future and we have some big names who are uh, you know recently announced to invest in hydrogen research so we have heard uh, microsoft recently announced billions did that they will put billions of dollars into this research so there's a lot going on in this space and it's, it's still a new Technology is still expensive, but but with this recent improvements and ongoing research, um, I believe this uh, you know this could be a, a fuel for future. You know. So guys, I'm really excited about this new technology and the ongoing research, and I do feel uh, that uh, I do believe that uh, you know uh, we would be using hydrogen as a fuel to run our cars and transportation system and you know uh, you know other use cases. So let me know what you think about this new technology, hydrogen as a fuel for future, um, and so on. Okay, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, if you want me to continue. Uh, to bring these uh, this type of content to you um, you know please uh, uh, like subscribe and share this video thank you very much bye